right. Lamont's a tyrant. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's. I think that's Tyrant Slayer Studios. I'm Tim Riley with Tyrant Slayer Studios, the People's Press Studio, and well, this then I is summed meant it to up be perfectly. You got it, man. That is the that very, is the tagline of the video right there. Very simple. Yeah. All right. Thank Open you very Connecticut. much. Yeah. Right Let's on. Get back to work. That's it. Thank you, brother. Is there anything you would like to say to the governor or the senators Open of the state? Open Connecticut. This is ridiculous. Yeah. Is there anything else you'd like to add to that? Come on, you're passionate. I can tell oh, you got I your am. kids strapped on your back. I gotta restrain myself a little bit. Well, be cordial, but yeah. be, be not afraid. Well, it's time to open up. We're not afraid. I would hug any one of you here right, right. now because I'm not afraid. And I'm not wearing a mask. Right. Had a girl. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for having us. Is there anything you folks would like to say to the governor or senators um, of the state? I'm too shy. Too shy. That's quite all right, young lady. And you? Yeah, I'll say. All right. Thank you. Is there anything you folks would like to say to the governor or senators of the state? Yes. All right. We'd like to say that we were open, or we were ready to be open, and then two days before, they tell us we can't open. She That's right. She worked 10 years plus to get the business up and running for all of us. Small business, there's only six stylists there. Some of us haven't been accepted for unemployment, so we're really struggling. The others have. We don't care about the extra money. We want to get back to work. We want to get back to right. our clients. There are families. Let's do what home. makes sense. Right. Absolutely. Right. Let's let's have a sensical approach. You got it. There is a ton of science that supports what we're fighting for. I mean, herd immunity is a real thing, and there is a real science behind it. Why isn't that at the discussion table? Right. Where is our representation? Where's our choice? I hate to be crass. Where is Rob Sampson? We're relying on people that aren't helping us. So, you should run for office, right? And then my wife should run for office, and there could be a whole coalition of women from every voting district in Connecticut that plans and calculates and, and literally gets their heads together. Anything you guys would like to say to the governor or the senators of the state? Sure. All right. Here we go. We're third generation barbers. Grandfather was a barber. Father's a barber. I'm a barber. You're not just hurting one people, but you're hurting a whole family of barbers. 50 years, over 50 years taking care of people. You know, it's like Burger King. If Burger King runs out of buns, McDonald's don't stop working, you know? So let us go back to work. That's right. We're ready. That's right. Where do they draw the line? How is it How is it so arbitrary? How, are, how is uh, Burger King essential and, right. and a haircut is not? Right. Right. right, what if you get your hair in your food? Because it's growing too long. Like, you know, you gotta... Right. We are licensed, eat. We that's, are licensed barbers. You know, that's we, right. We went to school for that. That's know? right. You gotta take all the sanitation of precautions. You guys are you know, from Central right. America? I know a great, a great deal of good barbers out in Willimantic. Of, uh, oh, no, I'm from West Haven. Oh, West, West Haven. Haven yeah. Yeah, okay. West Haven, New Haven. New Haven, yeah, right on. Thanks for being here in Hartford, man. This is the place to be right now. Oh, definitely. Hopefully they're listening. I hope so. You know, the regular <laughs> local coverage, uh, lo local networks aren't going to cover you. So this will be online. Awesome. We'll get the message out there for definitely, you. Definitely, definitely. Thank you for doing that. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for being here. Anything you guys would like to say to the uh, governor or senators of the state? Open up. Mm -hmm. It's just time. Anything you'd like to add? <laughs> We're just trying to help everybody get the message out, get the people out. Well, I had court today, so, and I, they weren't going to let me in the building because I didn't bring a mask. Let's cross. Thank you. Check us out online, yeah. She's going to run the local office on Tyrant Slayer Studios, the People's Press oh, Studio. I, you, I gave you a hug last time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe. Yes. Oh yeah, okay. My friend Jen. Yeah, that's right, you were in the car. That's great. Yeah, all right. I would like to say the governor is a tyrant. You're damn He's right. He's a dictator. Is. He, I can compare him to Stalin. That's He's right, we all like could. his buddy, Colomo. Yeah. We are free citizens, we're sovereign, and we live in a free country, and we will not comply with That's any right. of his orders. And I'll tell you, I mean, I will never comply with a dictatorial or a tyrannical order. Um, and that's your patriotic has, duty. And it is our duty as citizens That's to right. stand up for freedom in this country. That's we were right. given a free country by our forefathers, and you, Governor Lamont, 
have no right to take that. And That's you won't right. take it because it's mine. And Governor Lamont, if you go back in history, you know what our forefathers used to do with traitors. Uh, which is great. That is helping. Pardon me. Sure. How are you? Tim Riley, Tyrant Slayer Studios. I'm just wondering if there's anything you folks would like to say to the governor or the senators of this state. Farmers get the money. I would like uh, Ned Lamont to stop any attempt at weaponizing any of the State Departments against people who have the right to protest and support opening of the state of Connecticut. Very well said. And you, sir? I think most of what needs to be directed at Lamont has already been said. I would actually like to single out a particular senator who has been helping me. Um, I'm one of the hairstylists who has been denied unemployment for the last month, two months, sorry, um, and I never received a stimulus check because of my income last hold year. That, hold that. It's hard for me to edit that out. Gotcha. I did the last rally, it was incredibly difficult. Yeah. I did get some workable audio, but I lost a lot too. No worries. GoPro stop recording. So I was denied unemployment for about two, the whole two months that we've been forced to shut down as a salon. And I never received a stimulus check because I didn't work last year. And they based all of that on income from 2019. And I've been struggling for the last eight weeks to reach out to the Department of Labor. I've sent multiple letters. I've emailed them. I've emailed everyone that works there that I could get contact in. Received absolutely no nothing. response, right? But just oh, isn't recently, that so telling? Yeah. Just recently, I want to call out Senator Matt Lesser. He has actually. I reached out to him just the other day. He has. He immediately responded sent my information to one of his legislative aides who has been helping me to apply for the pandemic wow. unemployment assistance which is a new stream of funding that they've opened up that i didn't even know about wow. and he single-handedly has helped to make my personal situation More. significantly better over the last 48 hours well all right well that so, is called representation absolutely he has been fantastic i just i i, I had me i honestly we'll didn't have even to tip really the cap know who he was. to uh, matt lesser yes, in that so, regard so lamont has been doing a lot but i want to make sure that people know that other senators have been trying to do the right thing as right. well. So we're all about fair coverage here. Absolutely. So, so thank you to Matt Lesser for at least helping yeah, me go. out and keeping people in mind. He will thank get you. the message from us, that's for sure. Thank you very thank much you. for having me, Tyrant Slayer Studios. Appreciate it. Check us out online, man. Thank you. All right. Anything you folks would like to say to the governor or senators of the state? Yeah, open us back Who up. We need money. Who are you? My name is uh, Tim Riley. I'm with uh, Tyrant Slayer Studios. Uh, grew up in the Farmington Valley. Studio is about six weeks old. Track and trim band. No, this is the people's the people's press. I'm with the people. I'm here representing. Okay, I have something to say. Then. Where do you get your haircut? Does someone come over, or do you go to their house? You said that you'd arrest us if we did that. The peasants, you. Fucker. <laughs> Very well said, sir, if you I do pick, say so you myself. Pick the right guy. And you, sir. <laughs> like I said, just open it back up. We need a pair of bells. Yeah, right on. The line that's been drawn is absolutely arbitrary. I'm actually wondering who the hell drew it. Is it Lamont personally? Is it the unelected bureaucracy? The table is ours? Is it, you know, the out of state consulting firm at the cost of burdening our children's backs with more debt? Yeah. yeah. What are we at? 25 trillion now? Uh, it's it's pretty bad. It's getting really bad. I, I wouldn't want to quote it right now. Thank you very much for having me. God bless you and yours. Keep up the fight. So, so, so what are you doing with that? Uh, I'm uh, disseminating all of this information. GoPro, uh, stop recording. Yep. So you're, bro you're I'm a citizen journalist. I'm, it's going on YouTube. I would be oh, live right now, okay, but good. yeah. So you're not you're not Twitter. sending that personally. No, you. no. This okay. is my studio okay, for the good. people of the people by the people. Which is great. Which is great. Which I wouldn't I wouldn't mind no matter what you did. I just want to know. That's yeah, a, I'm with you, man. So. Look me up yeah. online. What's your name? Tim Riley, and it's Tyrant Slayer Studios. I've heard of you. Is there anything you'd like to say to the uh, governor or senators of the state? No, ma'am. All right.
Congress would like to say to the governor or the senators of this state? Well, I'd like to say it's time to open Connecticut. We've had enough of this. It's time for families to go back to work so they can feed their children. There is no reason to keep us locked down like this. Gyms, barber shops, all small businesses, they have a right to work if they want to. That's right. And if they don't want to work, if you feel uncomfortable, you have the right to stay home. Right. There's no judgment here, but don't keep the rest of us locked down. Now, for with that said, would it be a fair question to ask, is it Governor Lamont or is it the you know, 50 some odd unelected, unaccountable czars that have drawn this arbitrary line between our livelihood and our lives, right. our properties, our assets and, and, and right. services. Is it is it him or is it the out of state or unelected bureaucracy? I think that's a question that needs to be answered. And I think all involved needs to be held accountable. That's right, I, I, I own a fitness studio, I own a gym. Gym, people go there to be healthy. They go there to exercise, which strengthens your Feel free to plug your, your company. Misfits Boot Camp, right in Connecticut. Excellent. Uh, you know, we, we offer uh, nutrition guidance so people can... Looks pretty healthy to me. <laughs> Not bad for 60 years You're old. doing well, very well. <laughs> yes, yeah, so and to, to call that not essential. Health is no, fitness is no longer essential. I don't understand. Asinine. It, it makes it Package store is essential. Thank you very much. King, but not a chip. I don't get it. Thank you very much. I'm Tim Riley, Tyrant Slayer Studios. Thank nice you. to meet you too. Check us out online. Oh, thank you for having me. All right. Thanks for being here. Thank you. All right. Is there anything you folks would like to say to the governor or senators of this state? Yeah, we have a voice, we have a choice. That's right. And we need to open now. That's right. This is about our freedom. It's not about any personal group. It's about our American the people. rights. It's our about the people. Universal rights to freedom. That's right. I don't think the Constitution and Bill of Rights came down with COVID. I don't know about no. you, but... Excuse me, young lady, would you... Hold on. Is there anything you'd like to say to the governor or the senators of this state? Yeah, we are the people, and we need to have a say. And anything our governor set does, he needs to get approval from our legislation and not make his own calls. That's right. That's right. Not an unelected bureaucracy. That's right. Yeah. That's right. I'm opening. I'm scared as hell. We're going to help. I'm opening. If anything happens to you, yeah. we'll, we'll be there I've to help to, support you the whole I've way. I talked to Tom Delnicki, who's a representative of my town, and I talked to uh, an attorney that I What got. is your name, ma'am? Uh, my name is Michelle Landry Zaccaro, and I own a okay. salon Studio 44 Excellent. And I am here to say that this is a very bogus claim last minute for him to take us and shut us all down. Because I predicted select, that was going to happen For too. select few, right, it's for the a select like few story. that came to him and said, you know, cry me a river, but us were all ready for it. If we knew that we were going to have to back up ourselves because they're crying, we would have been all here, right. to, you know, fighting for the protest. You know, you protest, I protest, we all protest. I let everybody freedomly protest. That's right. But to have him go and take it because of... He's usurping our power as a people. That's right. That's there's right. no science to that base this decision. That's, that's right. correct. In fact, there's science in our favor. And in the little green parentheses... And he's parentheses, getting deeper and stronger. In the little green parentheses, they all said achieve. So if we achieve all of our contingencies, we're allowed for us to be a part of this decline and this virus. That's right. Salons have to already... We're already based with a backup of the state of Connecticut with our health conditions and all that stuff. We're recognized... Uh, every year, we we're come with a surprise visit. Right, and you I, bet. They're, and they're, they're always, right in your ass That's every right. step of the and way. I always get between a 97 to 100 percent at my at my um, health right. inspection. It's a part of our careers. Right. It's been a part right. of our careers. But, since but the we can. It's part of the problem. You can go, but you can go to a, a, a package store. You can go right. to. I could go get a Starbucks. I could go get a taxpayer funded abortion right now right. on my way to Starbucks. Right. It does not make sense. Is there any of that essential? My, my, one of my other biggest problems is that we're all essential. If that's how we That's make a living. Right. We're all essential. We just, if we need to put up with a mask or whatever to make us open, because I'm state certified, Don't. both with licenses on my salon, I may jeopardize that. I hope not. Right. Put that on there. But, but, but in, in the end of that, after you would win in the long run. And you would be fighting not just for your business, but for your fellow citizens and I'm your kids for. and the I next know, generation. I know I got we'll be with you every I step of the way. I have what it takes in my salon. I have what it takes in me. 
as a person and my bravery and my it. freedom, yes. I, I have a lot to give and a lot to show, and I will stand. I stood for my kids my whole life. I will stand for the people who can't talk. I stood up for kids that were getting bullied when I was a little girl. You remind girl. me of uh, the 60s era, like Hell's Angel, early 70s. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah you're, you're definitely a rock star, honey. Yeah, you're doing well. You're doing great. Yeah, I got one thing best. before I go. So, hairstylists, now estheticians, nail technicians, and lash technicians, we outside of the medical community, we are the only ones who hold a license with the Connecticut Department of Public Health. Interesting, I didn't know that. that is something that Lamont needs to understand because if we are trained in cross-contamination, health and safety, blood-borne pathogens, you're more, more because well for years we've had AIDS, we've had hepatitis, we have all other um, diseases and illnesses that we are trained specifically to, to not contaminate other customers, to not contaminate ourselves. Um, so why are the people who actually hold a license in public health not able to open, but you exactly. can go get a job at Walmart. That's a damn good question. So, and the governor is going to hear it. Right. And, and, yes. and our representatives who have failed to be here with us to represent us here physically today, which is kind of disheartening to me, right. is an observation. It is yeah. a fair observation. It may sound crass, but as, no, that is the reality. It is. It is crazy. That's why I if want we that mega home. They all need to hear. If he being close, he'd be here. Yeah. I got to run. I got to get Thank you so much for sharing your, sharing nice your insight. You. Thank you very much. Yes, that's my cell phone number. Keep yeah. up the good fight, guys. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thanks for being here. Nice to meet you. You too. Thanks for coming out, fighting for freedom, fighting the corrupt, corrupt Thank government you. here. Thank you. There's a lot of us. Yeah. But, you know. Absolutely. I'm gonna spread the word on your uh, YouTube channel. Too. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you.